Yes, good morning. Bapak yung aga, yung atanan magasangkayan. And welcome to BW Conversations. It is a fine Thursday. At Tuesday morning, kumusta ang iyo? Long, 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 long weekend. No, pepe ka mo long ano yung weekend. Kami di rin man. Wala man amon weekend. Anyway, mga kasangkayan, um, nalilipay aki na nga nga makaka-istorya na aton. Uh, important kita pag i-istoryahan yun. We're going to talk about marriage. The legalities of it and uh, ito pag istorya hiyo nung it mga ibang mga butang patrugo to talk about marriage no tanan nga mga um, butang may ada kalabutan nito pagkakasal hayla rong hiton uh, nakapatong dito na family code and we are i am very happy to have judge rowena tan with me from uh, aton here judge tan na hiton Pasay Regional Trial Court, and I think he just not to teach the app, you know. So, Judge, welcome, welcome. Ah, ngani naman to natin programa BW Conversations. This is your first time to be with us. Thank you, Eden. Good morning. Good morning, kayo ng atanan. Ah, kamo sa kamo. I hope your weekend was great and fantastic, and that you were able to rest during that long weekend. And I think amon in pagulingan ni ano judge kay long weekend. Amo pagulingan kay long weekend. So I hope we will have more long weekend. Oh, that's bad for business, but good for us. Yeah. Hardworking government officials. We need the break. Yes. Every now and then. Every now and then. So Eden, yeah. Sabi mo nga we'll talk about marriage. Talk about marriage. So we have a person in authority. Marap ka mo ba kasi kaya kung may ada niyo mga issues, I think na pa kaya important ni mamatik ka mo. And kung may ada ng ano niyo mga pamakian, pwede ka mo dito ito naton. Are we live on Facebook now? Okay, we're live on Facebook. Pwede ka mo dito ito naton. VWTV ng ng page, no? Pwede ka mo mag mag Uh, Padarangan dito ng iyong mga questions. Maaaram ako dito ng mga itong mga taong may ada mga issues. Bahay oh, naman gihapon dito ng kasal. Kay kung kasal ito at pag i-restoryahan, exciting ini, eh, di ba? Yes, yes. Ba? exciting. Of course. Thing More, to talk about. Kili, nakakakilig. Oo, oh, 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 nakakakilig. Kasi di ba, the, the, the preparations, di ba? Oh, yes. Ang, ang so, nakaka-exciting, nakaka ang, ang preparation nun, you have to have a gown, Uh, Mag-gurao na ka-judge kung hain ito ang imo reception. Kino ito ang imo, karuyag na mag-officiate ito ang imo. Well, well, especially if you're going to have a church wedding, di ba? Yes. Pipera ka pa di sa team ni nung minang. Oh my goodness. Oh, ito na yung bitaron, di ba? Your guest list. Catering services. Exactly. And then if you get married in big cities like Manila, dapat A year before kapala, nagpe-prepare bikay mga fully booked na at mga singbahan. Would you believe that? Mga reception places, fully booked na. Especially kung bagay i-target is mga Manila Cathedral, San Agustin, yung mga famous churches. So, but that's good. Good. That's good news. Which means na damit nagpapakasal. Oo na. Damit na tuod hit institution of marriage, hit kasal. So, We we're happy to know about that, and we welcome it, and we celebrate it. Yes. So in 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 judge, restoria hita o iunong hit kasal. Ano pa itun kasal? Because we know this is more than the this is more than the wedding gown. This is more than the reception. It is more than having fifty pairs of principal sponsors. No. What is really marriage? Yes. You know, all those preparations are a small part of marriage. No. Which unfortunately, da na na hinga ng limtenta kay yada it atun focus it atun attention it mga preparation pagdada yet di ba para ikadang ita hindi po na di ba tapos paguna ho na ano dala it amon team ano it amon motive di ba labi na it babay di na pa kadetalyado ta kina ng up to the last detail kaya usab it it mga highlights it kina buhi it ang babay usab it highlights na to the point na dahil hindi rito na nahuna-hunaan how am I going to prepare myself physically, psychologically, emotionally, even financially for the commitment ng isang married life. Kasi dahil na judge inuubos itong Irak Warta para hiton hiton sa kaadlaw. 
Yes. Mga celebration, di ba? I mean, reality in, yung nagpapakautang pa nga na hinito ni Ejo. Oo, pati mga kag-anak, mm-hmm. no? Na buli man di ha. Yes. Although, da, yan na, damo na damay at mga couple na di na hirana pa buli. Ngayon, hanun na, di ba? Nag-aandam talaga. Nag-aandam hirana. Hanun na, di ba? Ang lalaki la ang nagasto. Oo. Oh. Yan na, nag, ano na hirana. Nag-share. Nag-share na hirana. Kay urugin, babae ka rin man eh, maupay nga wedding gaw na sa inal. Tapos <laughs> magastos para tak wedding. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's talk okay. about marriage under the family code. So may ada ta bat balaod nga nagsusumataton kung ano it mga kung ano bet kasal, kasal. ano it mga requirements para maging valid it marriage, no? So we're talking of the family code which was passed into law in 1987. And then Article 1 of the family code gives us the definition kung ano it marriage. Okay, so let's go through each one of them. Did you hit Article 1 Family Code? It's saying marriage is a special contract. It is a, it's contract, a contract, but it is special. Mm-hmm. What it makes is special. it? What makes it special? Okay, so let's go through it. What makes it special? Okay, compared to an ordinary contract, I compare it to the contract of lease. Kung di en marent ka hindi mm-hmm. sa nga in lugar nga iisaran. Hit di dahit kontrata, kontrata very basic nga may ada uh, agreement it parties kay wara kun wara agreement wara it wara contract, contract ah. so that's very basic in all contracts including marriage no kinahanglan may ada agreement and then consent kada usaha iyo to enter into that contract pero ano it kinaibahan nit marriage nasing hira papel la ito nga marriage it's not a paper no like an ordinary contract magpipirmahan ka mo take out party here it usa nga party magpermahan kamo less or less si uh, the difference also is it less or less si pwede maging babae nga duha pwede maging lalaki mm-hmm. nga duha pwede duha nga less or pwede usa lang nga less si pwede duha nga lessies usa lang nga less or no in marriage we will see here and uh, another uh, uh, element of a valid marriage it is between a man and a woman Oh, oh, oh. So dire pwede babae babae lalaki lalaki. Kasi dire pa legalized din ha ato nitong same sex. And, and we will fight nga dire ito ma legalize because it defeats the purpose of marriage. Okay. Kung dire babae nga babae. Okay, what I'll do sige para kasi nandito rin lahat. Let's go through the uh, definition of a valid marriage a special contract. And then wara hini it's a, a permanent union meaning permanent forever. Eden, there yeah. is meron forever. Mm-hmm. And that is marriage. <laughs> 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 so, marriage is forever. It's a permanent union. Now, unlike an ordinary contract, for example, a contract of lease, you can agree that at least is only for five years. Yes, okay. Renewable for, for another, another five, five years. years. You cannot do that in marriage. Oh, oh that marriage can <laughs> be effective for 10 years. <laughs> and then, let's see if, it renewable. It's, okay, if, it, it's, if it's good. If it works, and then if it doesn't work, well, we'll think whether we're going, we're going to renew it or not. No. This way, it's a permanent union forever between a man and a woman entered into in accordance with law. So we have the family code that governs marriages for the establishment. Ito yung purpose of marriage. For the establishment of conjugal and family life. Kano nga mag ka? Oh, pang Facebook, oh, oh. para may betim status from single to married. Or mag, ah. magpapakasal ka para, I mean, mamadanim. Totoo, uh, may, may, kasi there's some people who dream of, you know, walking down the aisle. Kung nga nasan, what, uh, sometimes. Dream, dream yan ng mga babae. Rin. Yeah. Lalaki um, rin kaya, do they dream of walking down the aisle? Um, Hindi, they don't walk down the aisle. Ang tarasigin yan, diba? Ang tarasigin yan, diba? Nandun sila nag-aantay sa dulo. Nag-ihintay lang sila. Yeah, but I think that's the nature of men, mag-antay. Oo, pero, pero, <laughs> si, si, pero, Jesse, diba? Ito, lalaki, may usually, it's the man who proposes marriage. Mm-hmm. Diba? Diba? Talag, I, I think, I talag sa akin, would like it, babae ko. Normally, ah. Pagpakasal na kita. <laughs> Did you watch, uh, ano nga yan? Uh, the Runaway Bride ba yun? Runaway Bride? Julia Roberts. In the end, siya yung nag-propose. Tama ba? Tama ba yung movie na yun? Hanggang yun, whatever. But normally, it's the guy who proposes. Yes. Because it's in the nature of men. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a natural thing. It's in the nature of men to make the proposal. Right? Ayan. Yeah. Ikaw ba, Eden? Propose? 
<laughs> what? Let's do it the, the I'm traditional. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, there's there's nothing wrong naman. I I I mean, you know, like mm, nothing wrong if you want kasi ngayon na raw if you want to um uh kun kun if you like someone, if you love someone, you you show it, pero do it naman in a in a refined way, oh, no? Okay. Wag Ah, uh, garapal naman. Hindi na fine. Because some men are torpe rin, di ba? Oo. At saka siguro naman, Judge, kasi siguro if, if, if you're in a relationship with someone, ma-feel might din kung medyo yes. uh, uh, na, na to torpe, na, I mean, nag-aalangan. So kung uh, naabat ka nga so ganit, then why not make the one? Yes, if it's mutual, no? Yeah. Women have Because that you, thing. Oo, oh, oh, ma-feel ma- man talaga it na mo. Gaya rin talaga See? so pag, kasi just bakit maghinulat ka na i-abdan kita <laughs> no but i also believe and i think this is how the universe works and that's how god works now when the right man comes, comes along you'll know it and he'll know it diba and i think it's the same for men when the right woman comes along they know it okay. i hope so Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> natin mababat, but, but, that too, we can't answer that. Yeah, but but I I also believe that if it's your vocation to get married, uh, matatong it at the most unexpected place mm-hmm. and time, right? Because I also believe na because mar- marriage is a vocation. It's a calling. Mm-hmm. It comes from God. That's why it's something sacred, and we have to treat it that way. Okay. Right? So, damo may kumawa kasakayan. Akala nila hindi na sila mag-aasawa. They're actually prepared to live a single, single life, life, single blessedness. And then, forever. Yes. Because yeah, they're happy forever. naman. They're oh, happy naman. being single. And then, the right man comes along. And now, they're happily married. So, it's wonderful. Okay, another, okay. Well, hindi pa tapos yung definition no, okay. natin as Article 1 pa lang tayo. It is the foundation of the family and an inviolable social institution. So, puntasyon hiya, hit pamilya. Because, ano ba't nagko-compose hit, hit usa nga pamilya? Kung hindi it kasal. Kung wara kasal, wara it pamilya. Mm-hmm. And it is an inviolable social institution. Uh, it's the basic unit of society. The family is the basic unit of society. But wara it family? Wara it society? That's why they say, and I believe, that um, our society is only as strong as our families are. Kung makusog itatong pamilya, makusog daman itatong susidad, itatong komunidad. Kung mahinay, kung nagkakaburublag, damay problema, hit, sa kapamilya, wala problema, hit problema. Pero it problema nga hindi rin nagkakaturuhay, nagkakaburublag, nagkakawatak-watak. We can expect a weak society. That's why it's important no, they really like that. It at the start of no, would you know um, that un, the Constitution itself protects marriage. The Philippine Constitution. This is one of the beautiful things in the Philippine Constitution. Article 15 of the Philippine Constitution uh, recognizes marriage as the foundation of the family and an um, inviolable social institution that the state shall protect. No? Mm-hmm. It's mandatory. This is the word shall. When you use the word shall in law. It means it's mandatory. Kinahanglan good. Protectahan it is that. Okay. Yes, and ito pa. It is whose nature, consequences, and incidents are governed by law and are subject to stipulation. So as I said, kung kailan matatapos yung marriage, it's governed by law. And what does the law say? It's a permanent union. Panghabang buhay. Pangmatagalan forever. No, dere dere so gadhan. Kung dere na ako nagsasawa na kaem. Kung may kuna kinita nga iba, nga mas exciting, mas bata, mamahusay, mamagwapo, goodbye na haen. Okay, lagas ka na. Mahinay ka na. Wara ka na limpuwar. Tira ka na exciting, babayaan ta na ikaw. No, the law says it's a permanent union. You exception lang that marriage settlement may fix the property relations. During the marriage, initat mga sinisaring nga, mm, may ada niyo, uh, complete separation of properties. Pwede ka mo magka magka-agree. Saan ka mo ikasal? How are we going to treat our properties? Will that form part of the absolute community of property where what is yours is mine, what is mine is yours? That's a community, absolute community of property. Pwede rin tayo mag-agree na kunanit may ada ka, imula. Kunanit may ada ko, akon la. 
Pero yung mga garastuhan at pamilya, magbubuli kita. Magsishare. Ah, so na. pwede ito? Di, uh, pwede. Pwede kami hindi na mag-agree. Hindi rin makikialam it balaod. Ah, so yun yung mga uh, judge yun yung mga prenuptial agreements? Yes. It, it forms part of the prenup. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, pero uh, judge, dire ito nangangahulugan nga for instance may uh, nag nagpakasalak yan ah. And so iton iton tanan ito na akong properties once uh, gin kasal na uh, it will form part of of the job conjugal uh, properties. Uh, yes, I can oh, absolutely. Uh, pwede pwede ako meri nga akong lait akong Yes. Sumisunod. Oh, before the marriage, oh, uh, you have to agree on that before the marriage. Uh, Otherwise, pero kun wari agreement. What I agreement what it's what we call the absolute community of property, which is the normal thing that happens to most Filipino couple. Uh, kung ano it may ada, pag niyem, pag sulot na kasal, may niyem tuna, may niyem house, uh, may niyem condo, may niyem kotse, it will form part of the of the absolute oh. community of property. Magiging, Those things you have acquired when you were still single. When you were still single. No, except, may, may mga exception. Those personal effects. Um, mga personal effects mo, uh, toothbrush. Hindi mo na ito, hindi rin yung pwede i-share it him. What? <laughs> and then, parang ganun, you, the, your money in the bank? Your money in the bank will form part of the absolute. Bakit na nung luluya ka? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi, hindi. The money, your money in the bank and your properties. Of course, because this is the thing. When you give yourself in marriage, you give everything. Right? You give your whole life. Okay. And uh, ano with mga properties nila? Kung itimo kinabuhi mismo inihatag niya. What are those money in the bank? What are those condominium properties? Diba? And and the idea there is gagamiton it niyo hit pagpunda hit iyo pamilya. That's the purpose there. No? Okay. Uh -huh. So that's the absolute So unless otherwise, uh, may ada ni yung Yeah, may, may mga exception, agreement. may mga donation haim, nga siring at donor para lait haim mo. Dere, dere, ah, oh. So may for ada, instance, ganyan. judge, iton akon parents, for instance, tatagan uh -huh. na nira yung property, uh -huh. pwede nira stipulate dito nga, it's para. only for me. Uh -huh. Okay. Yun. So, para, so ano, para klaro, you para, know what para klaro ha yung atanan, diba? Para klaro ha yung atanan. Kasi uh -huh. sabagay, judge, actually, Siguro naman ini mga issues la ini for for those people nga who break up. Nga ito mga tao nga mga damit ng kira mga properties. Yeah, actually. Nga siguro siguro judge dire hira kasi siguro duhi nga pag iiha ito dire kasal kasi because why and why enter into such agreement? Exactly. Kung, See, kung that's siguro the thing. Kung siguro ay tunimo ka that you were going to stick it out with uh, right. your husband or your wife for the rest of your life. You're your giving lives. your whole life, mm -hmm. diba? Your whole self. Ano ba naman tadi may ko bangko, may ko kwarta ha bangko, di ko mahihata. Mm -hmm. Di ba? But then, there are some, as you mentioned, it dumb with properties. I know of some for, um, I think I can, we can give you some, as an example because there are public property, mga artista, senador, like Heart Evangelista and Jesus Escudero, they agreed on a prenup, they had a prenuptial oh, yeah. agreement para di rin magmingle. For example, he Jesus Escudero, papakyanan, o ano ka, kada na muna ito yung kuwarta, yung pala kay, kay, kay Hart, no? Through her earnings. Because I think Hart is earning more. Yes. Well, she said. No? That uh, is what she said. She's and I think she's more. earning more. But, but the case of, <laughs> of Chris Aquino and uh, James, James yeah. waray ada ni Raprina. Wara right? ada. Oh, oh. So that's why uh, he got away with some. Uh, well, under the law, the, whatever he was entitled mm -hmm. under the law, no, which, uh, well, uh, anyway. Siguro, Unina, uh, just when ito pag-istoryahan, what, what are you entitled to after him? Uh, ah, pag mga, nag, ano, oh, break up oh, yung oh, marriage. Oh, pag nag-break up ang marriage. Oh, 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 oh. oh so, para marap na mo ito tanan. Oh, di, para, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> kasi ginadam mo itong mga butang talaga, just yes. inhang lang talaga natin, may baron. For, may for, kasi for people to really, uh, think it over 100 times before you really get married kasi sila yung pamangani uh, di rila itong exacto it ng mga uh, kumbaga romance yeah, no? marriage is not romance ha? marriage yeah. is not it's part of kasi it but it's more part of it kwan it realidad it itong atang mga kinabuhi nga tanan it atara aadan it mahinana mo kasi hin mag English pala nga ni kamo you don't show the true colors, uh -oh. uh, diba? Nga tanan, but you only show the good side of it. Yes. So, pag kakasal yeah. na, then, uh, it's when the 
kung ang misunderstanding starts no ngin nagdulo mo na ka mo right. kamo na lang nadudo ha sabi ano nila idem dito lang ni makikilala ang tao pag kinasal na ka mo oh, oh. siguro just be simple not no kung not, no? kung magkuyab ka mo siguro for 10 years actually ah, kamay na naman kikilala ah, ato na din kikilala ah, hin ang ngin nag lulungon pa kasi siguro one week into your marriage makilala ka na talaga kung hinuan imo gyud pakasalan yeah, but, but let me just point this out no well i mentioned like well 10 years i i don't think i can wait 10 years <laughs> can you wait 10 years <laughs> sabi nila the engagement period should be just long enough for you to know each other okay. not perfectly not perfectly because may ko binati nga judge nagsirin Marriage is a union of two imperfect people. Mm -hmm. So don't don't expect perfection from each other. You're being unrealistic. Kay hi ikaw mga ni miss mo dere ka man perfecto. Kaya no ma expect ka na perfecto din mo partner, din mo mga resawa. Di ba? You have to be realistic mm -hmm. also. But the engagement period should be long enough for you to know each other and and for you to be actually for you to be convinced na I'm going I I and, and to be decided that this is the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, no matter what, mm -hmm. no matter what. It's a person na ikahin mo asya timo na ngakikitaan pag matanim kita aga. Bisa ni tora pa ka sa pakahiram o bisa mo taon pa. Wara pa ka to magurhok pa iti mabubong, di ba? Kasi iba dyan siya nagdidate pala ka mo. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, you have to look good. That's one thing na diri kinikita hitong uh, mag-uyab iton you know very casual na appearance you don't right. see because you sir ko pangarin napakita ka parang itong pinakamaupay nga kahimuni correct okay yes pero I also want to ano uh, um, to mention this no may ada iba nga amad dara nga nga direct manim nakikilala ko dito tao true and true sabi nila mag live in na lang tayo mali rin yun mali rin yun para sa akin kasi sabi doon mo mas makikilala pag nag live in na para nga pag you'll know kung anit kung nahagong ba ini kung dagkot hagong ini kung anit batasan ini nga tao that's not that's not correct kasi experience has also shown and empirical data will show us and I know may taliwat mga kilala kasangkayan kaurupta nag live in tapos oh they decided to get married kasi okay na kilala na kita but then, just a few months into the marriage or a few years into the marriage, nagihiwalay, no? Nagihiwalay. My nasering, I will not say who said it. Jinx it pagpakasa. Jinx it pagpakasa. Oh my gosh. No, I said because look at it this way. Na kung tada pat noon pa na pagpakasal, kaya it it pagpapakasal actually when you have behind your your the back of your mind, na this is a permanent union. No matter what happens, kaya meron tayong in sickness and in health, in for richer and richer and for poorer, till death do us part. Kakarau tanta ikaw, kakarau tanta ikaw. Bisa ko marau tayong batasan, ni ba? Magbubuli kita para magupay kita ng dok. I I said it vows it actually, di ba? I said it vows, but yeah. Di ka natuhod para di na di para di ka kundes. No, no, just I mean, just and and at mga parents of it, right? They really had a long, not necessarily very happy marriage. Kay kahay mga nila may tit kasang waray, mga problema, de ba? Because it forms part itong kinabuhi, itong magkasawa, itong mga problema. Kadiri may tiret mga problema, itira mga anak dani ito na kaka problema. Yes, yes. But also, I Pope Francis said there are no perfect marriages because there are no perfect people. So when two imperfect people agree to enter into marriage for life, they shouldn't expect perfection right away. Mm -hmm. Dapat yung marriage nga, magiging daan nila, magiging tulay nila, para ma-perfect nila yung sarili nila through the problems that will be given to them, thrown at them along the way. Kahit dita nagawas na may dita ka maupay, yun may mga problema yes. nga. Na uh, it, makes, it makes the union stronger. Actually, nakaka-lusot na nga ni Kamuhin mga problema. Kaya tama ngayon ini, and it makes the bond stronger. Stronger, and you know why, Eden? Kasi di ba pag may problema, and then you decide to face it. Kamo ngaduha, nagigibulig kamo, then nagigipagpuro pasensya, 
nagigi uro intindihay, nagigi puro pasaylo. And that's how you perfect each other. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Diba? That's really wonderful. Okay, so it's so yes. important the constitution. What are the requisites of a valid yes. marriage? Uh, what are the who can get married? Okay, okay, who can get married? Those who have the legal capacity. When we talk of legal legal capacity and who must be male and female, so that's uh, number one requisite. Le when we talk of legal capacity, we're talking of eighteen years old, because that's the age of consent. Well, for, for both for both the both the man and the woman. Both Kailangan the man and the woman, no? uh, under the the new law, because we had an old law na po di and fourteen and fifteen, fourteen and sixteen years old, po di na ikasal. But we changed that already, and we we uniform. We made the age uniform for both male and female. Kaya hano na pag nagregla na babae, ready na andam na hiya maging nanay, pwede na, no? Yeah. But we we changed that when we defined legal age or age of majority. We pegged it at 18 years old. So para uniform, 18 years old for male and female. So you cannot be less than like the day before your birthday. You cannot get married yet. Ah, okay. So it should be 18 on the day of your marriage. It should be 18. You should be 18 on the day of your marriage. Para para kit makasang kain ng tibutos ka hin. Yes, right. 18 and then not previously married. What a legal impediment nga tinatawag. What an previous marriage. Ah, you are single and available. Okay. And then must be a man and a woman. No? Cannot be man and man, woman and woman. And uh, because the reason is because the purpose of marriage is unity, procreation, and the education of children, and the establishment of conjugal and family life. And then the other requisite is that there must be consent freely given. So, what I in peritai? What I peritai? Asya nga ni may mga marriages nga di nag that don't last. Well, actually, kung waray consent, it's a void marriage. No? Because consent is important. That's why 18, ikinadan at 18 because ina-assume na nga mature ka na, maaram ka na kung ano itin mm -hmm. bubuhat. You know what you're getting into. You know, and you know the commitments that you are uh, making. So 18 years old and before uh, consent, freely given before the solemnizing officer. Uh, so, Judge, pag 18 years old na itong bata, di rin na itong kinahanglan in consent from the parents? Ah, ito, ito. Under the family code, may ada at tinatawag natin na parental consent. Kailan yan kailangan? Pag eight, between 18 ka and 21 years old. Kinahanglan may pa consent if in kaganak. Okay. Oo, maaro ka pa hitira consent. So, without the consent? Without the consent, the marriage is valid. But it can be a ground for annulment later. Uh -oh. Ah, okay. If you, if uh, after five years of living together as husband and wife, uh, you decide na okay, okay na. Uh, anyway, umayos naman tayo. And then po yung mga magulang natin pinaspasa naman yung atin pagsasama. Wala naman na silang obje uh, objection to our marriage. Then it's called ratification. So you can continue. The, the marriage become valid. After five years, pag dire mo ipinaanal. Oh. Uh, so meron ka lang period to anal the marriage. Kung kulang, kung wara, wara consent, I mean, kasal. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. So amo hindi makasang kain. For 18 years old to 21, you still need the consent of the parents. Pero even without it, you valid can yung marriage. The, but it can, can be a ground for annulment. Uh -oh. Within five years, no? After so, the marriage. After five years. After uh, five years, iba na ito. Na, niratify mo uh -huh. na. And, and if you decide to have it annulled on the seventh year, damo na ito ni mo kinahanglan nga. Waray na, di rin na ito. Di rin na ito. Di rin na ito. Di rin na ito. May ada prescriptive period. Ah, okay. Well, for any other reason? For some other reason. Pwede. Pwede. Okay. But para hindi ko anang... For lack of parental consent. Five years na talaga. Five years. So take note itong mga ano in it. Prescriptive period. Very, very important in it. And then meron din tayong parental guidance. Parental advice. Parang, parental advice parang pa sini, parang <laughs> advisor <laughs> and <laughs> or CV, ano of judge. Yeah. So, if you get married between 21 and 25 years old, you need parental advice. What? Uh, ano ka rin si uh, Parental advice, para i-advise ka mo kung what, what marriage is about. Yes, it's, I, I think the purpose of the law here, Eden, is uh, because the state protects no, the sanctity and inviolability of marriage. 
para buligan ini nga dudo hangat tawo, babay lalaki, who are going to live together for the rest of their life to prepare themselves for the married life. Para dire pwede ura-ura dala, dire pwede nga uh, spur of the moment decision. Mm -hmm. O dara kay, ha, na ibabaya na ako it biyahe. Oh, oh. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung mga gano'n. So, teka muna. I, I, I tell you, it, it happened to a friend. Uh, I was, yeah, mentioning this to you earlier. Um, she's quite mature in age. And then, ganun din yung, yung lalaki, although meron a single dad here, may niya anak from a, from a part, from, from a, another woman, pero di rehearsal. But anyway, so Bariho Hera, mature in their um, 40s, yeah? So, yeah, in their 40s, and then they decided to get married and magpa-civil muna. But the parents of my friend, yung babae, sabi, mag-church mag, mag wedding kayo. Kasi we're Catholics. You know, nagkakasal ako. One of my duties as a judge is to officiate marriages. We'll go to that a little later. And then, pag nakita ko, di dahit era, application for marriage, nga pareho ra katoliko, I always advise them, please get married in church. Because we need the sacrament of marriage. We need the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Kaya it, pagpakasal, di re haromamay. Di re haromamay. Damo na dato nga mga kakurian. Tinahanglan nim hin, bulig hin. Uh, supernatural help. No? So I advise that. And then what happened to them, my friend just told me, kay, wara mahiya to yang. She listened to the advice of her parents. Na, although she didn't have to get it because she's 40 plus. Okay. Diba? 25 um, lang naman yung parental um, advice. Um, she listened to the advice of her parents. Na, magpa church wedding ka mo. Ayaw, ayaw na it. Civil church wedding. Kay, you need the blessing of the church. You need the grace of God. And then what happened? She told me uh, three weeks ago na nag-break na sila ng fiancé niya. He called up the marriage. I don't know the reason, but I can only assume that the guy couldn't wait. Gusto na niya magsama sila kasi nga para raw magkaanak. But I told her, is that a guarantee if you marry, get married now na magkakaanak ka kayo agad compared to if you get married next year mm -hmm. para makapag-prepare it era church wedding na magkakaanak? Because it, it anak is a is a gift from God, diba? And He gives yeah. it at will to whoever True. He wants to give. Bisa ni Hisara ba ato ang asawa ni Abraham? How old was she when she conceived? Right, very ripe age, eighty plus. Okay, so so that's uh, and then the other um, we have other requisites, legal capacity, consent, authority of the solemnizing officer. Yeah, so, uh, ini judge hin o iton pwede. Mag, uh, solemnize. Mag pwede magkasal. Pwede, pwede, pwede magkasal. Mm -hmm. Judges and justices. Like, so judges and justices. Uh, one talaga ini. It's uh, part of our duty. Okay. To uh, to officiate marriages like civil. Because okay. this is civil marriage mm -hmm. uh, that we're talking about. And then uh, judges. He kami may nam jurisdiction. For example, ako original trial court of Pasay City. So anywhere within Pasay, ka. I can validly... Hindi ni Haburonggan, for instance. Hindi ni Haburonggan. Uh, technically, well, diri, although may ada naman uh, nagsisiring, nga, it's because of my my authority as a judge that I can officiate marriage. Kung hindi ni Haburonggan, valid lagi apit marriage, pero may ada, I can be liable administratively ah, for okay. performing a function outside, outside of my of jurisdiction. jurisdiction. So, sorry, I will not risk it. I will refer okay. you to Judge Lim or Judge Baldono mm -hmm. because they're the judges uh, in Borongan. Uh, but there is a judge in Chage, because any judge, naman, whether from the Metropolitan Trial Court or Metropolitan Circuit Trial Court or the Regional Trial Court. But justice, they can with anywhere in the country. Oh, so for kung si J, pwede hiya magkasal? Anywhere, anywhere, because the jurisdiction hit mga justice in the appellate court, court of appeal, supreme court is nationwide. Balik talon ko naman, judge. For instance, si ako, mm -mm. taga din yung makaburonggan, pwede ako magpakasal hain dito ha pasal, ha pasal. in the jurisdiction? Pwede, pwede. Okay. Mm -mm. So di rin itong kinahanglan nga may dapo parang residency thing in Pasay. Pwede. I can get married there. Okay. Ganito. But before I can marry you in Pasay, kailangan meron kang marriage certificate. Uh, license, sorry. Marriage license. So sa ito may ito ni requirement 
for a valid marriage. So we talk of authority. Aside from the judges and justices, mayors can can marry. Mayors. Oh, under the the um, the, IL, the 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 local government code, uh, they can marry. And kaya may mga kasalang bayan and mm -hmm. sponsor ni mayor. And then priests, of course, no imams, ministers. But sa authorized the manhira, kaya dire nga tanan itpadi or nga tanan itministro, may authority to officiate marriage. Okay. Because I think nakuha in here itong authority. I think from the Philippine Statistics Authority, I think. Yes. Uh, they get, they um, uh, Chase, pakiyan, itong mayor pwede mag-officiate. Itong mga governors can they? No. Mayors lang. Yeah. Oh, mama, 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 tasi ni Mayor. Ayo, dapat tanong. Kaya, kaya nado lah. The law say so. The mayor say so. Yeah. Mayor, siguro the rakai. They're more on the on the ground, no? I mean, compared to the governor who has jurisdiction over the entire province. Didi itad ko an. Mayor, many ya munisip municipality or city. Mas madali yan na dadaraon. It ano tawo. It's also to to make it accessible to people hmm? okay. compared to the governor nga kada monet iya i think the, the other reason is because baka wala nang magawa yung governor kundi magkasal nang magkasal sa dami ng kanyang constituents okay yes okay and so then, um yeah. anyway uh uh judge no gamit the restaurant but before we uh, uh go on with uh, the conversations we will uh, take a short break uh, for some reminders we will be right back then go away The Eastern Samar State University leads once more in holding the 5th International Conference on Integrative Disaster Risk Reduction Management with the theme, Plan, Act, Live, focusing on delivering both informative and enriching topics on disaster management. It envisions bringing together government officials, non-government experts, and other specialists from around the world to discuss the growing trend of events and people affected by natural disasters. Likewise, it aims to find ways to reduce the toll of disasters through careful preparation and implementation of disaster risk reduction strategies, thus reducing human and natural casualties. We are once again inviting you to take part in this remarkable gathering and together we just build a disaster resilient community. basic human need. E paano na lang kung mag-level up tayo sa pagkain ni Luto sa langit? Samahan nyo kami sa pagluluto at pagtikim ng iba't ibang putahe. Ako po si Manny Arago, together with Father Ryan Lopez, A Taste of Heaven. Pagtikimang blues para sa pasta pesto. Smells good. Tuna pasta best. A taste of heaven. Only here on DYBW Radio and BW TV. Back, mga kasangkaya, ngayon na itong restore by nito marriage. We have with us Judge Rowena Tan. Judge Tan is from Llorente. Yes, I'm from Llorente. Kinukumasak with mga dagay Llorente. Yes. So, Judge, lang kayo na kinatakatukitahan mga hinu itong pwede magpakasal. Okay, so, hahain itong pwede magpakasal. Public, you know, in a public place. That's the, that's the general rule in a public place. Like, kunari ka ito ways inside the chambers of the judge or in, if a justice inside the chambers of the justice. Well, public meaning there are other people around. And mm -hmm. uh, there is no secret marriage. There is no secret marriage. There is no such thing as a secret marriage. Huh? <laughs> <There's always laughs> and in, in the church, chapel or temple, I think the Catholic Church requires 
pagkatuliko ka, didi kita ha, simbahan, in front of the blessed sacrament, no? how in about, the presence of God. How about judging ng mga garden weddings, beach wedding, underwater wedding? Actually, it atong balaon, civilly, you can get married. What I, what I kasi prescribed form of uh, wedding ceremony. So pwede, pwede ito nga under underwater mm-hmm. kung maruyag na may it, him. It, it judge. <laughs> don't get me. I don't swim. I don't have to swim. Kung maruyag, it judge pa ka sa <laughs> It can also be on top of the mountain. Nakita ko ha, Korean uh, Ricky K. Uh-oh. On top of the mountain. Wow, challenge. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Diba? Mga gimmick, right? Oh, oh, like it can be uh, inside a hot air balloon. It can be uh, on the second floor of Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Mag- <laughs> so, kung hayo ito yung personal. Under the, the civil law, the family code. Under the family code, it can be anywhere what I prescribe for my marriage. It's important na nga ad to, and, ar, and karaslon, babae lalaki. As we said, there is a proxy marriage. No? So, Ah, di pa abroad iti mga rasawa, iya di laan ay pwede ikaw lang <laughs> lang. Pabilis lang ay. O di kaya iya di ikaw, puro itong tanay ikaw. Can you, can you take the, can you be the proxy? No, cannot be. Because, why? Because of the consent. It has to be personally Personal. and freely given. Because without the consent, as we said, it's a void marriage. Kamunga duha and then the officiating, the solemnizing officer, who can be you know, the judge, the mayor, the priest, the imam, the minister. Pwede liwat it ship captain ha, pwede liwat it uh, chief, uh, airplane chief. At the moment, uh, at the brink of that, that uh, when the person is dying and there's no one else to officiate the marriage. So under exceptional circumstances. Okay. Or if you want to get married abroad, na Philippine, uh, following the Philippine law, you can get married in the consulate in the, or the embassy. In the embassy. So the consul general or the consul can officiate the, ambassador. the marriage. No. Ambassador, no. Consul. Oh. Because again, the ambassador has so many things. And, and, to do. He, and with the president, he cannot. Cannot. The senators cannot come. Cannot. Can. Pwede ra magnino, magnino. Oh. <laughs> Ay, yan. Ani, ani, ani ka na mga pakiana, uh, judge. How Necessary many? ba yung witnesses? Oh, judge? yeah. At least two. At least two. Minimum. Duha la. Kay later, pag nagkaka problema, at least many testify. Go that the marriage happened. No? May makakapag testify. But that's the civil from the point of view of the law. But from the point of view of the church, they stand as your parents no? mm-hmm. who are there to guide you, to support you in your married life. So, maybe mom, there can hang lang hindi damo nga. 50 no? pairs. <laughs> sobra na yan. Sobra, sobra na. So, may dalawa lang yung inerarecord so, na matang. So, in a civil matas. wedding, you can do that even without the presence of the parents? Even without the presence Basta of the parents. Basta may the witness. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yun, tandaan. Yan. Uh, even without the parents, but of age, kinahangla na kamo. Pero uh, kung between 21 and 20, uh, 18, 18 and 21, 21 parental consent, importante. Is, yeah. 21 and 25, parental, parental advice guidance, is important. Parents. Okay, yeah. so, uh, Judge, nag-i-restore kita, hi, huunong hit kasal, the validity of it, but may ada hini, may ada hini mga nahinanab, there are instances when when uh, may ada mga kasal nga from the moment of marriage kwa na ini void, void. what i what is it no void marriage. wara wara na hinabo but sometimes diri aware hini iton parties concerned Correct. so ano iton instances nga masisaring naton that a marriage is okay void. what are void marriages void, oh, oh. void so, marriages so tikang ini karing sinong magsakit tikang han tikang han pag tikang tikang han pag uh, kasal, kasal han, han, han ceremonia, waray na sa isa hito nga kasal. Waray, wow, it's as if no marriage happened, okay. no marriage occurred. Una, kung ang mga parties, or one of them, is below 18 years old. Oh, so, 17 okay. or 16? Oh, yeah, or 8, okay. yeah. 17. Even, even, so meron na, Bisa kung may right? parental consent. Oh, okay. Bisa kung, yeah. And then, pangalawa, ang nagkasal ha iyo, waray authority. No? So, kung na akon, uh, well, as I said, my other school of thought now I can get, I can officiate the marriage even outside my jurisdiction, but I will be held administratively liable. Pade uh, nga waray authority. O nag expire na niya authority. O nag expire niya authority. Oh, except my exception din here. Papakita gihapon nga, we favor marriage. If one of the parties or both of them believed in good faith, nga ito nga, nga pade, nga ministro, nga nagasalha era, may ada authority. Kung, mm-hmm. kung kamo tinood, no? So, the, the person who had no authority will be held liable under his laws 
Um, mm. But but the two innocent parties. No, we cannot punish innocent people. Oh. Eh? That's the law. That's the beauty of the law. Okay. It protects innocent people. But marriage license, we mentioned that. No, mm -hmm. where do you get? Maraming nagtatanong sa akin. Saan ko pa ng marriage license? In the place where you habitually live, where you habitually reside. No, that's where you should get. And the license is valid for 120 year, days nationwide. So, ikaw magpapakasal ka. I'll get the license. I have to get the license. In Boronga, yeah. where you habitually live. But I can marry you in Pasay. In Pasay. You bring your license okay. to me, I can marry you. But it's Pasay. only valid for 120 days. 120 Lumapos days. in 120 days. You have to file You have again. to file again. Reapply. Mag really apply for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, what I be sa itiyo kasal. Oh, no marriage. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then a valid bigamous marriage or polygamous marriage. No? Yun nga, yung may ada ka previously existing valid marriage nga diri na annul or na or na nullify and then you remarry you get married again maraming so, nangyayari okay. for instance si ako mm -mm. na may dako asawa mm -mm. and then nagbulag kami nga nakasawa pero diri kamo ana pero diri annul na nakasawa so nagkasawa nga haw ak uh -huh. uh, for whatever reason nakasal ak uh -huh. nakasal ak nakalusot na. nakalusot ak for whatever uh -huh. reason iton akon kasal is nan void, void. Null and void. And you can be held criminally liable because yeah, bigamy oh. is okay. a crime. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then contracted by mistake as to the identity of the other party. Uh, mistake in identity. Does it happen? Uh, I, had, I haven't heard of a case or an instance where it happened, but it can happen and the law made sure that when it happens, that marriage is null and void because of the lack of consent mm -hmm. of the contracting party. My name identical twin, for example. Hiya, exacto, exacto. Magpagkakamalan oh, 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 oh. talaga na ikaw yun. Oh, so, Siya yung pinapunta mo sa marriage. That, Because some, some twins do that, no? May mga nagbabasahan. Hiya ko, may mga nagbabasahan. Di ba, may natin na hibabasahan. Hiya. Because you have the, whatever reason. Para hit, circumstance ito na iyong pagkatao. You have the same name, the same parents, the same middle name, the same birthday. I identical. Mm -hmm. You look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But it's not you. So that marriage is null and void because okay. of lack of consent. See, it's important, the consent, because it has to come from you. No, That's why it marriage, you are responsible for it. Kay ino o kamahit. Mm -hmm. Di ka pwede sumariuni na. Sabi nila, hindi yan parang mainit na kanin na iluluwa mo pag nainitan ka. Hindi. Okay, what else? Uh, identi mistaken identity psychological incapacity no very uh, famous ground nga ginagamit it kadam an psychological incapacity because the law doesn't give the ground it only defines it as the incapacity to carry out the obligations of a marriage life the psychological incapacity to carry out the obligations of a married life and um, unfortunately, din he naging floodgate, nag it opened the floodgate to divorce Philippine style. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah, so, so the, the um, may other mga, mga <coughs> guidelines, so it has to be existing, Jurid juridical antecedent. It has to be existing at the time of the marriage. Dere nga, naging psychologically incapacitated that later on. Later on, kasi, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ikaw ang tas may kasalanan ng tatako na kaganito. Nagkaroon ng psychological incapacity. It has to be existing at the time of the marriage and it has to be grave. Meaning, dire lang nga uh, ordinary. Dire na only. Dire kayo nagbibinar ka da, naging hinoy goo, ng bababay. No, those are not, um, that's not grave because there are remedies to it. So it has to be something grave that is incurable that's why yeah these are the three requirements it must be grave it must be incurable wala na talagang magagawa so uh judge how about those uh, hindi na ma ma wala na wala na talaga ito niya mahim how about marriages contracted between uh, relatives i mean uh -oh. uh, family so, members <clears throat> meron din tayong void marriage because they are incestuous meaning magkadugo ka mo mother daughter uh, mother son uh, father daughter no it's wow does that happen i don't know well it can happen and the law so to it that it doesn't happen ascendants and descendants so anyone above you and then my blood relation because it's also not uh, scientifically sound because mm -hmm. uh, medically sound because uh, medicine has shown na pag magkalapit yung dugo uh, yeah. naging abnormal yung bata. Yung bata. 
And then, uh, ano pa incestuous? Between brothers and sisters. Bisan kon half brother or half sister na. That's also incestuous. Kasi kadugo mo nga. How about cousins? Cousins, uh, hanggang first cousin bawal. But that's the reason for that is public policy. By reason of public policy. So may daman mga void marriages by reason of public policy. Ito, mga cousins, collateral relatives, mag, mga adopted brothers and sisters. You cannot marry adoptive mm -hmm. parent and adopted child. Cannot marry kasi the status of adoption, you raise the child to the level of a legitimate mm -hmm. child. Okay. So parang kapatid na rin, kapatid na. at ikaw magulang ka na rin. Oh, okay. O di kaya pinatay mo yung asawa mo para mapangasawa mo si ano. Uh -uh. O pinatay mo yung asawa ni, ni A para mapakasalan mo siya. That's a void marriage by reason of public policy. Oh, sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yan ang ating mga void marriages. Meron din... Uh, you want to go? Do we have time to go to annulment and <laughs> run through uh, annulment. Uh, judge? Sa sa annulment. annulment. Parang ano lang What's okay. an, what, ano yung annulment? Okay, ano yung annulment? Yung marriage in an annulment, the marriage is valid until declared annulled. Null and void. void. So, until declared void, no? Oh, wait. Null. So for instance, uh, magpakasal akya na uh, judge, magpakasal akya na on the fifth year, nagdecide up uh, because of irrit. I want to say irreparable um, differences, irreconcilable differences. differences with oh, my husband. Sorry, that's not the ground. Is irreconcilable. Okay, okay. Let, let's, let's go through. Ano so, yung in, in psychological <laughs> incapacity. In psychological incapacity, void yung marriage. But annulment, ito yung grounds niya. So, 18 years old, pero waray parental con uh -oh. consent. So, uh -oh. so you, can, you can ask for the annulment of that marriage within the period of five years. Five years. But okay. after five years, eh, okay naman pala kayo kahit so, wala, okay. na ratify na. And then the other is unsound mind. Kung, kun, you know, the person is insane. Unsound mind, unless uh, after five years, you continue to live together. There are some, di ba? Napatigil oh. ka, marami ngayon mga unsound. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, it's not a laughing stock, oh, laughing matter, ano. pero marami ngayon na wala. Hindi matitino ang pag-iisip. Mm -hmm. Hindi matitino ang pag-iisip. Maraming ganyan. But it has to be medically proven. Uh, you, you are suffering from, uh, from a mental sickness. Huh? Consent obtained by fraud. Yung niloko ka, ano yung, yung okay, very specific yung batas sa atin, ano yung fraud? Uh, ikaw pala ay bunti sa ibang lalaki. Uh, so, magkakasal ka, that's fraud. Uh, so, huh? I, I can have it. Ano? You can have it. The, the guy can have it. Uh, Anal. Uh, uh, can, uh, can have it annulled. Mm. Uh, o di kaya ikaw pala ay mayroong uh, STD, sexually transmissible disease. Mm -hmm. No? Uh -oh. That's a ground for annulment. Okay. Ikaw pala ay tinago mo na ikaw pala ay lesbian or, or homosexual. No? That's uh, that's uh, ground. Um, ground fraud. Yeah, for that's uh, fraud, no? Concealment. Sorry, sorry. Concealment, no? Of drug addiction, habitual, uh, mm, yung alcohol, alcoholism, and then homosexuality and lesbianism, no? Tinago mo, kasi pag girl girl ka, yung wala oh, oh. ka, no? Yung wala ka. So that's a ground, ground for annulment, no? So fraud, consent, vitiated consent, yun nga, yung pinilit, yung shotgun marriage. That's a ground for annulment. Pero may mga period ah, within five years uh, from the time that you, uh, from the time that the force or intimidation was uh, was uh, was applied, no? which is from the time of marriage, then you can have that marriage annulled. So yan yung mga uh, pero either. Yung, pero yung ano, judge, uh, if you found that, let, let's go back to the homosexuality mm -hmm. thing. Like so, if you found out that the partner is. Uh, a, a lesbian or uh -huh. and he and he hid it or she hid it. Uh -oh. huh? That's why it's fraud. Uh, it can be grounds for annulment. Mm -hmm. Pero the marriage, I, I know, I valid, uh, valid. until annulled. Until uh, annulled. Uh, until so annulled. hindi ka pwedeng sumabi. Oh, my, ang kasal ko ay void from the start. Not from the start. Not from the start. start. And then kung ikaw ay alam naman niya, bading kaya lang nag hindi siya sure or di kaya hindi hindi siya denial siya. Uh, that's a ground for legal separation. Oh. Okay. Yung hindi naman tinatago, yes. ikaw lang denial so, ka lang. Uh, 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 like, uh, two minutes, Jess. <laughs> two minutes, yung, okay. Yung when you say uh, annulment, ipapawalang visa. Ipapawalang visa. Okay. Kung hindi mo pinanumalang visa yon, 
mag bis, mabis, may bisa yung kasal na yun. Ha? Ipinapawalang bisa mo na. Compared dun sa void na talagang wala, wala siyang bisa talaga. from the start. But you have to remember, I have to mention this, you have to go to court to have, uh, you need a judicial declaration. Hindi pwede ikaw magsabi, ay, ah. below 18 pala ito nung kinasal itong asawa ko, 17 lang, or, or 17 and, uh, and 11 months old, 17 years and 11 months old. Ah, magpapakasal na ako kasi void kami. Hindi, you have to go to court. So may declaration pa dapat? Yung declaration court. of nullity. Oh. Hmm? Or declar- or, so or otherwise, uh, otherwise, um, otherwise, be kamuska if you, if you oh. get married. Ha? Because what's the purpose there? Again, you cannot take the law into your own hands. And it has to be the court. That's why our marriage is governed by law to say kung iyan pa talaga ay void or annulable na marriage. So, eto naman, annulment, how about the legal separation? What, well, legal what separation, what are the grounds? So let's just go through them. Okay, I, I want to mention pa rin another ground for annulment, yung, yung ano, impotence is a ground oh. for annulment because it defeats the purpose yes, of marriage, yes. which is procreation. And then, yun, kung meron kang STD, sexually transmissible disease, and it is serious. And, kasi syempre, you do, ayaw mo makahawa sa hindi dapat hawaan. P- grounds for annulment, repeated physical ab- a violence, no? Kung ikaw na may paulit-ulit na sinasaktan, binubugbog, at kulang na ng patayin. Uh, moral pressure, uh, magbe-election na naman kita, iba itim tinutuuhan. Iba itim, uh, oh, itim presi- it mm, kandidato, iba itim akong kandidato, what I pay time, no? Kung hino ito atun ka rin butusan. Attempt um, to corrupt, no? Uh, a child, you or your child. Uh, if, uh, ano mo, ha, internet, para kumita, pagkakitaan yung asawa mo, yung anak mo, that's a ground for legal separation. And then, um, kung, kung na-convict ka, wait, for example, the husband committed a crime of rape and he was convicted for more than six years because it shows moral turpitude. Parang, no, how can I trust this person again? No? If he molests innocent okay. children. And then drug addiction and alcoholism is a ground for legal separation. Basta hindi tinatago. Kasi oh, nakita natin, di ba, yung fraud, yung itinatago. Oh, oh, oh. Annulment yun. And then contracting party, bigamous marriage, uh, sexual infidelity, ayan, yung mga nanlalaki at nang bababae. Ha? Hindi yan, ano, hindi yan psychological incapacity or ground for annulment. Legal separation lang yan. Kasi pwede naman magbago at pwede bumalik sa'yo, di ba? yung mga na, naliligaw ng landas. Okay. So, <laughs> ngapit ba? Ngangapit. <laughs> and then abandonment by more than one year without justifiable reason. Yung magla, bigla na lang iniwan ka na hindi mo na maalam, clueless, mm-hmm. kung bakit, and more than one year na you can ask for legal separation. So, in a legal separation, Judge, what happens to the Separation of bed and board lang yan, ha? The marriage subsists. Kasal pa rin kayo sa isa't isa, kaya wag na wag kayong magpapakasal Mag-pakasal. ulit sa iba. And what happens to, to, the, to the, the property? The property, you can ask for the... Actually, the, the, the properties remain, no? Kasi uh, ano lang naman kayo, eh, yung, yung nag, naghiwalay lang kayo ng bed, no? Magka, ng bed and board. Uh, the, but the marriage um, properties can subsist, can remain, because the marriage is still valid. Still valid. The, the, the man or the woman can still come back to that marriage, mm. and then you can reconcile, mm-hmm. correct? Unless you file for separation of properties. So this is one instance that the court will allow you to file for a separation of property. Uh, for, for, you have to prove, I mean, halimbawa, you need a property kasi hindi mo siya magamit, hindi mo mabenta, ay eh, kailangan para sa pag-aaral ng anak mo. Okay. O kailangan para sa pagpapagamot ng isang may sakit na family member. So how about pag yung isang kasal mo has been, yung kasal has been annulled, what happens to the, the property? The properties will be dissolved, no? Will be dissolved. So mayroong, mayroong uh, proseso for the dissolution of property. You have to make an inventory, ano yung mga properties that acquire you during the marriage, and then you have to identify what, what property belongs to you, belongs to me, belong to me and then okay then you have the net property from there babawasan yung mga ginastos para sa mga ganito ganyan uh, hindi pa yan pala net uh, once you inventory the property put them together and then ibawas mo yung mga expenses yung mga ginamit for the for the benefit of the family you have the net paghahatian nyo paghahatian pero may mga instances na mawawala ng, ng share yung guilty party 
Okay? So make sure you're not the guilty party. And what happens Kasi to, ka and and what happens to the, the children? The, oh, the, the children, status oh, of the children. Oh, the status of the children. For those, ang, ang illegitimate children naman natin are those who are born outside of a valid marriage. No? So kung dun sa void, actually the children are legitimate until declared by the court na void yung marriage. Huh? Legitimate ang status mm -hmm. nila. Because no, they're innocent, and then the parties uh, believe that they were the marriage was was valid, and then um, yung ating illegitimate children are those born out of wedlock, uh, you know, in a bigamous marriage, for example. Uh, kung meron kang va existing valid marriage, yung mga anak mo sa susunod na kasal na hindi pa annulled or nullified yung previous marriage, may, more will be illegitimate children, or those children na pinanganak na hindi pa kinasal yung nanay at tatay. So, yung status sila illegitimate pa rin. Now, they will carry the name of the mother and not of the father unless the father consents. Oh. Ah, pwede naman, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. pag, pag, pag magbigay so, ng consent yung oh, oh. tatay. Pero uh, yung mga those born before they got married, pwede bang ma-legitimize? Oh, yeah. So, we have what we call the legitimated children. Once the parents get married, walang legal impediment, ha? Uh -huh. So, the, the children will automatically be legitimated. They don't have to do anything. Wala na process yan. Wala na, na. Except that you have to have that recorded in their birth certificate. Oh, ha? Parang, Showing okay. the marriage certificate of the parents. Oh. Because it is the marriage of the parents that will legitimize them. Right. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, siguro just isang session pa. Isang so session then, pa? I know. Next it's time, time na uh, ano bumalik ka siguro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, ano, we can talk about many things. Oh, Sige. Oh. So, pag but, may long weekend pa rin. Pag may long weekend. <laughs> may long I will weekend. volunteer again. Pag may long weekend pa rin. To appear. Diba? Yeah. Or, I hope you found it. Pag, pag, pag may holiday na ano. Yeah, na mahaba. Na mahaba na ako. At gusto niyo pa ako. <laughs> I hope so, you found the discussion we useful. We have so much to talk about uh, uh -huh. talaga. Uh, so little time, so many things. Mm -hmm. And we talk a lot, no? Yes. We don't talk a lot. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, just thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much thank for you. talking with us. I'm sure mara yung uh, our listeners, naka, naka port ka mo hinapakada mga importante nga mga butang and those things that I know you will not take for granted. Ito ang you know, important nga na hibabaro kita bahin dito nasabi ng mga butang kay mapuri ni mga ignorante kay kuan baga na na uuwat kita dana, you know? So, waray sama kung may adakat kita ng kahibaruan. Anyway, siguro before nga ni ka magpapagkakasal, tinatabing may hirahin uh, marriage counseling. counseling no? That's important. That's the importance of marriage counseling. Oh, oh. So, so Yes, uh, uh, Judge, thank you very much. Okay, until next time, so until thank next time. Thank you, Eden. And until next thank time, our viewers yes, and listeners. On VW Conversations, um, nasa lang kami, salamat. Maupay nga oras sa iyong atanan.